Hello everyone, welcome. My name is Phoenix and welcome to Classics Month on the Consumer's Guide to Filmmaking. Bad Lieutenant, 1992, Abel Ferrara. This film tells the story of a cop known only by his rank of Lieutenant, or LT for short. A crooked cop by all means and definitions, he is ruled by his two vices, drugs and gambling. When he accrues a large gambling debt, he takes a case of a raped nun, and when faced with his ever-mounting issues, he begins to question his decisions in life. From all accounts, I knew this was going to be a banger, as Kaitel's performance had gained a reputation for me, but holy shit, what a banger of a film. This is a dark, tragic, and masterful tale of a man at his wit's end. This is my first foray into Abel Ferrara's filmography, and I really love his style. He makes the world of New York in this film feel raw and gritty. The grain of the film and the natural lighting, oftentimes dark and foreboding, makes every shot feel realistic, hyper-real even. The club scene being my favorite, with the dark lights, those flashing strobes, and the camera following LT around through the crowd creating this feeling of anxiety and claustrophobia and sensory overload. The tracking shots in this film manage to make this crooked cop stumbling around all the more hypnotic, and his still and beautifully framed art shots evoke a reverence for the artsy-fartsy art house films of the 70s. It's really no wonder this guy made a movie about Pasolini. The script is another element I really loved. The film is short, it's an hour 30, the uncensored cut I didn't watch is an hour 35, I watched the censored version for some reason. YouTube has the censored version on there, they really should put up the uncensored version. Anyways, but despite its short length, it doesn't feel like it rushes through anything, oddly. Ferrara manages to explore complex and incredibly complicated themes through subtle filmmaking. He explores drug addiction, apathy towards crime, racism, and repenting for sins all in such a quick and lean manner. It's such a dense script and I could go on and on about what is so good I might do a long form video about this movie one day. But I think at this point we need to talk about the real MVP here and that is Harvey fucking Keitel. This man crushed it. Every scene he manages to make you feel like you are watching the most self-destructive scumbag cop imaginable. The way he commands every interaction, the way he exudes power and makes you fear for everyone he interacts with, including himself. It's amazing. The scene in the nightclub I mentioned earlier, where he just cackles every time his cop friend tells him he's in over his head with the gambling, is just terrifying. The guy doesn't give a fuck. Like, he is, he's just insane. <laughs> fuck. Oh, and the church scene? My fucking god, the church scene. The moment where this dirty degenerate realizes the error of his ways. The sobs, the noises Kaitel makes are just heartbreaking and uncomfortable in a very good way. Kaitel looked like a broken man in this scene. He sold it like a goddamn superstar. In the end, fuck, this is a goddamn perfect movie. Sure, I would like to see the uncensored version of the film at some point as it may add to the experience, but scenes cut or not, this film is masterful. One of the best of the 90s and a new favorite of mine. Watch this movie. 10 out of 10. Stefan, take it away. Yo, 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 it's your boy Stefan. If you made it to this part of the video, you know you just watched another fly-ass review by my man Phoenix. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Pass these videos around. Also, make sure to follow this channel on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, MySpace, all that stuff. Links to those will be in the description. And man, 
If you like what's going on here, if you want Binks to keep doing his thing, man, you gotta donate to our Patreon and subscribe star pages. That way, you can get all sorts of extra content that's just straight up baller. Yo, this is your boy Stefan, signing out. Peace!